Our next presenter, Dr. James Fry, is the director of the stroke program at Barrows Neurological Institute. He's presenting on topics in neurology, finding the right diagnostic tests for making the right diagnosis. Please welcome Dr. James Fry. I guess I'm going to start by asking anybody here if they have ever met a stroke neurologist. Anybody? One person in the back. Um, two ladies were standing by a pond one evening watching the sunset. It was very quiet and peaceful. They were meditating. They were almost in a trance. And suddenly a little frog hopped up on the bank in front of them and the frog looked up and said, ladies, if you kiss me, I'll turn into a stroke neurologist. One of the ladies reached down and grabbed the frog and shoved it in her purse. And the other lady stared at her with astonishment and said, why did you do that? Why didn't you kiss him? And the lady said, because a talking frog is worth more than a stroke neurologist. <laughs> and the actual risk of a deterioration to the point of being disabled or dead from a TPA-related hemorrhage is really 1%. And that's because of the 6% that deteriorate, 5% of them were going to deteriorate anyway because they had a severe stroke. Drop the pressure, they get worse before your eyes. But there's something else here, okay? We've determined that if you're eligible for TPA, we don't want your pressure over 185 over 110, a mean of about 130. And you're gonna say, well, how did that happen? Did somebody just wake up screaming that number? And the answer is, not quite. Okay, and this uh, particular uh, graph shows you that if this is blood pressure on the x-axis and this is blood flow to the